<sighs> Another topped fairway wood, misstruck, horrible, horrible shot. And I bet it's one that a lot of golfers are suffering out there with, and there's one main reason that it's happening. I'm gonna fix that for you in today's lesson. Before we do though, if you are new around here, I'm Matt Fryer, PGA Golf Coach. I want you to hit that subscribe button for me down below so I can help you get better at the game. Let's get stuck into this lesson. So. The shot that I've just hit there is probably one, like I say, that plagues a lot of the amateur golfers. We would find that we probably use a three wood, a five wood, a seven wood, or even our hybrids. A lot of the time when we're hitting into par fours or when we're hitting into par fives, even for par threes, if even if we just throw the ball on the tee, um, just down on the ground when we get on those par threes. It's one that we see those top shots, we see no real elevation in the shot, we're not seeing a consistent strike, and overall there's just a lack of consistency. And the one main reason this is happening is because you have a poor angle of attack. So the angle of attack basically is the direction in which the golf club is approaching that golf ball. So when it meets the golf ball, is it either traveling down or is it traveling up or you would have a neutral one which would be level. And what a lot of golfers are doing are actually getting the club to travel up as we hit the golf ball. And when that happens, if I were to just address this golf ball now, if I have an angle of attack that would be on the up, it would be because as I'm coming to hit it, I'm thinking, well, there's not a lot of loft on this club, I need to help it up in the air. So as I'm coming down into the downswing and into impact, I'm actually moving my spine behind the golf ball here. I'm starting to lean the weight back behind the golf ball ill in an aid to try and help that golf ball up that isn't going to result in that good strike we don't actually want that what we want to try and do is make sure when we've got a fairway wood three five seven whatever it may be or even our hybrids and we've got it off the ground let's make sure that we've actually got an attack angle that is down so we actually want to try and take a little ball and then divot and i'm going to share now with you a little drill that i get my students to do to try and help you actually achieve this so really simple when we're actually practicing and when we're trying to achieve something i think it's great to do that with a little bit of feedback i've got a small alignment cane here you can do it with a large one if you're at a range where you can't stick it in the ground you could angle it through the basket but what we want to try and do if we've got our target golf ball here if we just think now if i had three other the golf balls and I place them towards my target side of the golf ball what I want to try and do then is just get this alignment cane here the tip of it to just be hanging over at about two or three golf balls high and if you're a little bit nervous about hitting this as well just place a head cover on there it's just going to give you that little bit of protection there as you go through it so what we essentially have here if it just oh, it's fallen in the sand if it stays about three balls high which is about that there as we go through now as we look from our target angle, what I will have created is something where now, as a visual, my club wants to pass under this little track here. So have it just outside the golf ball so we actually aren't gonna be hitting it. But what it's all about here is that little visual because like I said a minute ago, for the player who is getting that inconsistent strike we've got that attack angle working upwards and what we want to try and do is get it working on the down and even if we just move my golf ball aside here and i address where my golf ball would be what i want to see and what this visual aid is doing for me in this little feedback drill if i were to make the swing where i actually approach and hit on the up as i work back now i would bottom out somewhere around here near my back foot that's where the low point of my arc would be and then i would be rising and i would clatter the alignment cane or the head cover as i'm going through but what i want to see is a low downward approach as i'm going through so as i actually address here what this is going to do and even just having some small swings just feeling it go under what it'll start to feel like almost is that you're stretching your arms out down and further out past the golf ball as opposed to feeling that they're pulling up and above the golf ball as you go through in the incorrect one. So we want to just have some practice swings now where as we go through, we feel that stretch here. And as we see that club head just passing under the head cover, 
Look at how stretched my arms are from this angle. I've not got that lifting up and I look really strong and really stretched as I'm going through. Once you've had a few of those and just sort of got that initial feeling of that stretched arms, low club head, I want you to just build up a little bit more speed for me. I want you to take your setup and just imagine where that golf ball is going to be. And we're going to go about 60, 70%. And our main aim now is through the hitting zone and afterwards I want us to feel that that club head is travelling low underneath the head cover. So as we see there, straight under the head cover, and I even got a little brush of the ground, you might have picked that up on the microphones, and what it starts to do, as opposed to me leaning back and lifting upwards here, I look like I'm actually starting to cover where the golf ball would be with the middle of my spine now. So then as I would come through, I would get the ball, and then I'd get that little graze of turf and just get that little puff off of the, uh, the divot there, as we see, as I'm going through it. So slowly and get that stretch. Feel those arms widen and feel that club head low as we're going through. Imagine that little divot as I've just got there. It would be after the golf ball as we're going through it. If we're now confident with it, and I would say it's probably going to take, you know, five or six golf balls just to be comfortable with actually hitting a golf ball with this in place here. But once we start to get used to this, we should start to see that we're getting better results. And it's great as well on the golf course, because you can almost imagine there's something out there, or even if there was a, a spot on the floor about half a foot in front of the golf ball, we're just trying to feel that we're letting that club head go low and feel this stretch over and out of the arms as opposed to pulling everything in as we go through. But And what we want to try and do here is just make sure that we're just picking it off, getting that little hit down on it, and getting that tiny divot. I'm not asking you to take a divot like you would do with a wedge. I just want you to see that that club head is not doing as I've just done there and hitting that. I just want to see it traveling low under and squeezing out. And just like that one, we get a really nice strike as we're going through. So we'll take a few just to get used to it and we'll actually start to get the feeling of getting this stretched low actual angle of attack as we're going through but the big key is all about getting that idea and that conception of letting that club head travel low and down after the golf ball as opposed to tight and up as we're going through the golf ball if we can use this drill here and like i say let's just hit another one just get that feeling of letting the club head actually pass underneath the cane here and underneath the head cover Oh, I actually went too much there. I actually leant back and tried picking it off a little bit too much and got a load of divots. So for me, I'm just going to prop that up again. I'm going to have a few rehearsals and see in my next one if I can just get back to feeling this low stretch motion. That last one, I was a little bit back here, got a little bit tentative and didn't get the strike I want. I need to feel, really cement that feeling of low and under, low and under and feel that pull of the club head really getting away from me through impact and stretching out, just grazing it out and what we should see if we get this right now is that nice strike again and seeing a good fairway just clipped off the turf. And that's one of the best I've hit in a long time. A nice strike fairway wood picked off and that is what we want to do like i say a great drill that is going to help you achieve an angle of attack that is a little bit more down as opposed to getting used to that scoopy horrible feeling and getting those inconsistent strikes give it a go like i say whether it's a three wood five wood seven wood whatever it may be a hybrid but it'll be one that you can really utilize and see that this club actually starts to work for you guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in another lesson very soon